Inviting Moon and Lianqing were sparring in the Palace of Moving Flowers, but unexpectedly, the martial arts arena collapsed and they discovered a diary hidden underground. The owner of the diary is named Su Meng, a person whose life is eternal and immortal immortal life never dies. TSK, what a flame spirit lady. She's so brave. She dares to use the fire charm technique on me. Oh, she has been backfired. Yen Lingji's dance is really good. Yen and Shi Feishuan started fighting outside again, I don't understand. They both look so gentle and refined. Huh, the general and I made a bet that whoever wins will receive the opponent's body. It's getting hot, let's go sleep on Little Dragon's cold jade bed in a few days. Dot. With the continuous exploration of inviting Moon and Lianqing, everyone discovered that the diary spans thousands of years and runs through every dynasty. Everyone couldn't help but guess, Su Meng, are you still alive now? Until one day, in a diary entry, the two of them came across a sentence. I woke up in Daming. Keywords of the novel. Longevity for a thousand years, diary invited for monthly exposure without pop-ups, longevity for a thousand years, diary invited for monthly exposure. Download the full text, longevity for a thousand years, diary invited for monthly exposure. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Underground Hall. Millennium Diary. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Underground Hall, Millennium Diary. I never expected that there would be such a huge treasure trove hidden beneath the martial arts arena of our flower-moving palace. Yeah, I heard even the two palace lords were startled by this. Dot. Several beautiful women in long dresses were shuttling through a red corridor, walking quickly through whispers of conversation. This is Daming, Embroidered Jade Valley. Moving Flower Palace. This place is like spring all year round, with a hundred flowers blooming in full bloom, and mountains, rivers, and lakes scattered throughout the valley. It is a dream meditation destination for martial arts practitioners. In addition, the two palace lords have a cold personality and do not like noise. This leads to a decade of daily tranquility within the flower-moving palace, exuding a fairyland-like charm. But these days, the palace is no longer quiet, on the contrary, it has become bustling and extremely lively. All disciples come and go back and forth in the martial arts arena every day, disheveled and gloomy. The reason is let's talk about it two days ago. Previously, the Grand Palace Master invited the moon to seclusion for several months, taking a big step forward in cultivation. Therefore, we brought in the Second Palace Lord Lianqing to compete and verify in the martial arts arena. But who could have imagined that the strength of the two Palace Lords exceeded expectations, they were too strong. Especially when both are fully attacking. The movement generated by the confrontation is too intense. Causing echoes in the valley, the entire embroidered jade valley shook the earth and mountains, with rubble rolling down. And the palace of moving flowers is already deep in the valley. Countless broken stones fell from a height, directly causing the huge martial arts arena to collapse and sink. The martial arts arena collapsed. I thought this was a bad thing and it would take a lot of time and money to rebuild this martial arts arena. But unexpectedly, after everything had calmed down, a disciple discovered, under the collapsed martial arts arena, a dusty hall has actually appeared. In the main hall, it is magnificent and magnificent. It is filled with gold and silver treasures, rare artifacts, estimated to be thousands of years old. It is obvious that this is a priceless hall. No, sad things turn into happy things. There are so many rare treasures in the main hall, if all of them were auctioned off, it would be more than enough to rebuild a flower-moving palace elsewhere. It's just a small martial arts arena, and the losses are nothing to mention. So in the past few days, the two palace masters sent their disciples to explore the underground hall. In just two or three days, the financial resources of the Ihua Palace doubled several times. Now, it is still being explored. At the end of a red corridor, under an ancient pavilion. 
sitting is a woman of unparalleled beauty. The woman sat at a mahogany table, dressed in white clothes surpassing snow, exuding a noble and ethereal demeanor, with a peerless appearance. What did you find today? Her voice was ethereal and ethereal, exuding a feeling of being aloof and distant from others. Sister, more than half of the palace has already been looted. It's not much different from a few days ago, and the disciples have found dozens of ancient artifacts from it. If they were to be sold for auction, the price would be high. The speaker is also an extremely beautiful and stunning woman. This woman is fully dressed in court attire, with a sweet and delicate face and agile eyes. She is the second palace master of the flower-moving palace, Lianqing. And the former is the invitation month. Lianqing hesitated for a moment and said, Besides many antiques, my sister also found a strange box. Boxes. As soon as the words fell, inviting Moon cast an inquisitive gaze. Lianqing glanced behind her. Two beautiful maids received instructions and walked out, carrying a seemingly heavy bronze box in their hands. The surface of the bronze box is covered in rust, giving it a sense of age at first glance. Place it on the table and immediately shake off a layer of reddish-brown rust. This bronze box doesn't seem like a valuable item, but strangely, it is placed in the center of the palace. Like deliberately separating this from other treasures. So my younger sister thinks that the items inside should be decent, perhaps there are unexpected things. Specially placed separately. Upon hearing Lian Xing's explanation, the interest in inviting the moon was immediately aroused, and she looked curiously at the bronze box. And, sister, look at it. Lian Xing walked up to the bronze box and poked out her slender jade hand from her sleeve. Gently tapped the surface of the box. Accompanied by a majestic burst of true energy from her palm, the bronze box shook violently. Shwa 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 the rust covering its surface suddenly peeled off layer by layer, revealing a shiny silver surface. Does this rust seem to have been painted on exclaimed the invitation moon lightly. So it seems that this box is not a bronze artifact at all. Although the specific material is unknown to the two. But after this incident, inviting Moon became even more curious about the things inside the box. She exchanged a glance with Lianqing and both reached out to pat the lock on the box. Quan Deng the silver lock was shaken in half, and the box was opened accordingly. The two immediately looked inside, there is no gold or silver treasure. There aren't any rare artifacts either. Some, just some bamboo slips, silk books made of silk, and so on, as well as something resembling a picture scroll. Unexpectedly the two exchanged a glance, and then Lianqing picked up the scroll. An inviting moon picked a silk book from it. It is amazing that it can be inferred from numerous artifacts that the underground hall has existed for at least a thousand years. And all the things inside this bronze box are preserved intact. Even the handwriting on the silk book, every stroke, is clearly visible. Sister, what is written on it? Martial arts secrets. Top-level cultivation techniques. Or something else. Lianqing couldn't help but ask. Inviting you didn't speak because her attention was completely drawn to what was written on the silk book. Huh, it's fun, it's really fun. Xinjiang City has been quiet for so long, finally it's about to start lively. I'll count. There is a group of people from Baiyue, those from Lusha, and the night sky of Ji Wuye. TSK, now you can watch the excitement and have a big melon. Ha! Baiyue. Flowing sand. Night. It seems like they are all very powerful organizations. Inviting you frowned and stared at the silk book in her hand. However. How does this look and feel like a person's essay diary? Essays from a thousand years ago. This to be honest, inviting the moon feels a bit outrageous, but it has to be said that she couldn't help feeling a little curious inside. Who wrote these essays? Inviting moon continued to watch with curiosity. As expected, the surface of the city seems calm these days, but in reality, there are surging tides and crises everywhere. 
but this has nothing to do with me in my opinion, being a melon-eating crowd is quite good, and watching the world's changes is also a good experience however, things are unpredictable I didn't expect that my humble abode had an unexpected guest break in today a girl who knows how to play with fire flame spirit g, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Portraits in Boxes, Charm of Fire you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Portraits in Boxes, Charm of Fire Flame Spirit G. What a unique name. Inviting the moon whispered a few times, and then felt very strange about one of the sentences. Very good at playing with fire. What does it mean? Is that what she understands? Maybe not, people are not immortals. Inviting you shook her head and continued to look down. Flame Spirit G came uninvited, I was a bit surprised. But since they have arrived, they are guests I treated her to tea, hee hee, Yan Lingji was very curious and asked me, as a tea shop owner, how did I know her name? I gestured a number for her she was puzzled, I told her. I know 90% of the world's major events. Inviting the moon raised her eyebrows and was surprised by this sentence. What a world that knows 90% of major events. Being able to write this sentence is enough to demonstrate that the owner of this essay is definitely not an ordinary person. It's a strange person and a strange warrior. And he is a strange person with a grand heart and soul. It's just a pity this diary has been sealed in the underground hall for thousands of years, even changing dynasties several times. Its owner may have already turned into yellow soil. Inviting the moon to shake her head and continue reading. Sai, Yen Lingji actually thought I was joking. If you don't believe me, it's okay. She even rolled her eyes at me. Tisk. It has to be said that Flame Spirit Lady is truly one of the few stunning women in the world. Like a thousand-year-old fox, every frown and smile exudes a seductive aura, even rolling its eyes has a great charm. After a few pleasantries, we got to the main topic, she first asked me, why have I been drinking tea all this time? Aren't I curious about her purpose here? Of course I'm curious about what you're saying. But compared to this, I told her that the tea had cooled down and asked if she could help heat it up first. Ha ha ha, the moment she was stunned was very cute, but unfortunately, she couldn't record it on the spot. However, Yen Lingji still followed suit. She snapped her fingers and a cluster of flames rose from under the teapot. The tea quickly heated up she reached out and lightly brushed the teapot, and the flame landed on her fingertips, lingering for a long time before disappearing, seeing this, I have to mention that the Hua Hua Ji is really useful. Playing with fire. Can anyone really control flames? What kind of martial arts is this? Inviting the moon was very surprised. This kind of sophistry and unfathomable method is extremely rare even in today's martial arts world. Inviting Moon shook her head and was about to continue looking down, only to find that Lian Xing had not spoken. She looked at Lian Xing. But at this moment, Lian Xing was staring intently at the painting scroll in her hand. Inviting the Moon to see the situation moved my heart. Picture scroll. Is this the owner of this essay diary? Very likely. Inviting you couldn't help but become curious and leaned her head towards it. The diary in her hand said. Sit and watch the world change. Moreover, 90% of the world's affairs can be known, based solely on these two extremely bold words, it indicates that the owner of the diary is definitely a very decent person. So, inviting the moon is what makes us curious. Soon, she could see clearly the person on the painting scroll, that is a woman. A woman with a very stunning appearance, naturally charming eyes, tender like water, and the only beauty in the world. Her watery eyes are pure yet charming. Her fair fingertips were illuminated by a flicker of fire, and under its illumination, her appearance became even more refined. To put it in terms of the beauty of the country in the city, it is not an exaggeration. Pretty but not seductive, what a beautiful woman. Inviting Moon couldn't help but exclaim, is this the owner of the essay diary and the underground hall? As soon as she finished speaking, 
her gaze turned. I saw the name of the woman in the painting clearly written below the scroll, Flame Spirit G. Inviting the moon, she exclaimed in surprise, Flame Spirit G. So she is Flame Spirit G. Sister, do you know this person? Lianqing was surprised. Zhao Yue pointed to the silk book in her hand and shook her head, saying, I don't know anyone, it just happens to mention this person on it. Lianqing only then noticed the silk book. She took the silk book and glanced briefly, then couldn't help but say, this flame spirit Ji seems extraordinary, she can actually control flames. Inviting the moon to nod. I just don't know who the owner of this diary is. The two exchanged a glance and then turned to the silk book in the hand of inviting moon. The answer may be solved here. Tisk, Yan Lingji is really a clever little ghost. She secretly used her fire charm technique on me while talking to me. Do you really think I can't notice, the fire charm technique can cause hallucinations in life and even reveal the memories of others? It seems that Flame Spirit Ji wants to know something from me. Fire Charm Technique Seeing this, Lianqing lowered her head and pondered for a moment, it seems like she heard of it somewhere. Inviting the moon to nod. There is a description in an ancient book that it was once one of Han Ting's secret techniques over a thousand years ago, but it has long been lost. I used to think it was fake. I thought it was fabricated by someone. I didn't expect that there really was such a skill, and it even appeared in this diary. Inviting Moon and Lianqing both felt very surprised. I am also curious about Yan Lingji. Such a beautiful woman has so many means. Not only can it magically control flames, but it can also use this mysterious fire magic to peek into other people's memories. Ordinary people are definitely not her match. However the owner of the diary is not a layman either. And it's clearly noticeable. I believe this flame spirit lady will not succeed, and in the end, she definitely did not pry into the memory of the diary owner. The two of them speculated and continued to read. Huh, it's fun, it's so fun. Since she wants to see it that way, I'll let her see it enough, but I don't know if she can handle it. So, I deliberately opened up everything I packed and irrigated half of my memory and gave it to Flamelingji. Inviting Moon and Lianqing exchanged a glance, both speechless. Sure enough, an extraordinary person is an extraordinary person. The way people think about problems is not something they can understand. If it were them, they would definitely just want to avoid it. But the owner of the diary adopts this unusual method however, they are here to pry into your memories, and you even pack them up and give them to them, isn't that a bit I don't know what the outcome will be like either. The two continue to look at the silk book with doubts in their minds. Ah. That's not right is Yan Lingji's spiritual strength so weak anyway, she was also a master of illusions, but when I instilled less than one dot third, she couldn't bear it and fainted directly. The key is, he also fainted in front of me. Really. Alas, to be honest, when Yan Lingji was awake, she was as passionate as fire, very charming and beautiful. When sleeping, she is like a sleeping beauty, gentle and peaceful, absolutely, it can be called a beauty. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Big Information in Diary Su Meng, Immortal You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Big Information in Diary Su Meng, Immortal Both of them were surprised and didn't expect such a result. What's going on? Why did Yan Lingji suddenly faint? Is there a problem with the diary owner's memory? Inviting the moon suddenly came to my mind, but I still couldn't figure it out. Especially, who exactly is the owner of this diary? Although the tone of the recording is relatively light and frivolous, there is a sense of mystery in the language, making it difficult to grasp. Yan Lingji's martial arts are not weak. Can use the fire charm technique on him, but he can turn it around and knock out the flame spirit G. All kinds of signs indicate that the diary owner is truly mysterious and completely incomprehensible. Sister, you said. Yan Lingji has fainted. 
will this person take the opportunity to do something? Lianqing suddenly asked curiously. Inviting Moon glanced at her and shook her head helplessly, seeming to be wondering why your focus was on this. But who knows the answer to this question? By the way, they haven't even figured out whether the person writing the diary is male or female. If it were a woman, it would be okay. But if it were a man, maybe he would really do something. After all, the two of them had just seen the portrait of Yan Lingji. That appearance, let alone a man. Even the two of them felt extremely stunning, and in terms of appearance and temperament, Yan Lingji was no less than them. This type of woman has a fatal attraction to men. So, if the diary owner is really a man it's hard to say the consequences of that flame spirit G. The diary recorded on this silk book is finished. I'll look for the next one. Lianqing searched back and forth inside the bronze box. Found it. Quickly, Lianqing unfolded the silk book, and the content recorded inside happened to connect with the previous one. And the first sentence above is. I picked up flame spirit G. Hmm, it's quite fleshy, and it feels great. Ah. Sure enough. Inviting Moon and Lianqing widened their eyes and quickly looked back. I threw her into the room, brewed a cup of tea, and started waiting for her to wake up huh, didn't you do anything? Seeing this, for some unknown reason, both of them breathed a sigh of relief at the same time. The diary owner is most likely a man. Lianqing speculated. Inviting the moon nodded in agreement on the side. When Yan Lingji woke up again, it was already late, and the first thing she did when she woke up was to hastily check her body I reassured her that I didn't do anything to her after Yan Lingji had completely calmed down, I began to ask her why she came to me at first, Flame Spirit Ji didn't say anything, later, under my repeated questioning, the reason was briefly explained. Forced Questioning Lianqing grabbed the keyword and muttered beside her, how was it forced to ask? I won't go into detail. Inviting Moon glanced at her. Sister, read a book. Lianqing immediately shut up and continued to look at the silk book. According to Yan Lingji, over a decade ago, her hometown caught fire. At that time, she once saw a mysterious person in her hometown. She was deeply impressed by that person and said he looked very similar to me, just like a mold carved out, which is why she approached me as a tea house owner later, she realized it, she said that in terms of time, that mysterious person is now at least a person in his forties or fifties. And I look just in my early twenties, obviously not alone. So it was she who admitted to the wrong person, I asked her again why she still used the fire charm technique on me since she had mistaken the person. Yan Lingji told me that after the conversation, she felt that I was very interesting and couldn't help but want to peek, but she didn't expect to overturn the car. Ah, woman. Inviting Moon and Lianqing looked at each other, it turned out to be like this. This flame spirit lady is really it seems that the brain is not very useful. It turns out that the owner of the diary was so young, only twenty years old at the time. Judging from what he had said before, he was very knowledgeable and old, and thought he was an old man. Lianqing exclaimed in surprise. Inviting you nodded and said, but it's still that question. Why did Yan Lingji suddenly faint before? She is still puzzled by the question just now. Lianqing said, Sister, you didn't look carefully. Didn't you mention it below? Since waking up, Yan Lingji has been sitting on the bed, arms wrapped around her thighs, staring at me I asked her to speak directly, she indeed asked me, what's wrong with my memory? Why is it so strange, so huge? She used the word huge, which is quite appropriate. Hmm. What does it mean? Inviting the moon is a bit confusing, with a huge memory. She glanced at Lianqing. Lianqing also looked puzzled, so the two continued to look down. I poured myself a cup of tea and told Yan Lingji. In fact, she didn't mistake anyone. Yan Lingji hesitated for a moment again and asked me what she meant. I mean literally, the mysterious person she saw in her hometown over a decade ago is actually me. 
Inviting Moon and Lianxing couldn't help but widen their eyes, looking at each other in disbelief. This reversal too unexpected. That's not right, in this way, age doesn't match. Lianxing's mind was full of doubts. If he were really the diary owner, then he should have been in his forties or fifties by now. How could it still look like twenty years old? Perhaps it's a kind of kung fu that can stand still. Inviting the moon to analyze. Is it the same as my Mingyu Gong in the Flower Moving Palace? Lianxing suddenly realized, it's possible. The two continued to look down. Flame Spirit Qi immediately looked at me with a, you speak clearly, gaze. Ha ha ha, to be honest, it's really cute. I asked her, are you curious? Why is my memory so vast, far surpassing others? That's because I am not even a person of this era, I told her that, in fact, my age has already exceeded this country. When I was born, the Seven Kingdoms had not yet been born for many years, I have often traveled around various countries, and more than a decade ago, I happened to be staying in Baiwe and saw a place burned down by a big fire. I also saw a little girl in terror, I told Yan Lingji that the person you saw in the big fire was actually me. Flame Spirit Qi can't believe it. She said her age doesn't match, I asked her, do you know why you used fire charm to me, but it was you who fainted. She is shaking her head, I said, because I showed her a portion of my memories from thousands of years, it's strange not to feel dizzy. No one can withstand the impact of thousands of years of memory, Flame Spirit G was scared and asked me, who am I, why can I live so long I told her my name is Su Meng, and I am. An immortal, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Familiar Names Eternal beings, their power opens up the heavens. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Familiar Names Eternal beings, their power opens up the heavens. Longevity, immortality. Impossible. How could there be such a person in the world? Inviting Moon and Lianxing held silk books, their pretty faces filled with disbelief. Immortal. Isn't this a myth? For thousands of years, this land has experienced many prosperous times, and several emperors have sought immortality in every possible way. But in the end, no one was able to do it, and their deaths all confirmed the same thing. Longevity. Not present. Not dying. That's even more nonsense. Now, the owner of this diary says, is he an immortal? Even the era of birth is even earlier than the Seven Kingdoms. Have you lived for thousands of years? This is simply ridiculous to the point of being unconvincing. Su Meng. What a familiar name, how do you feel like you've heard it somewhere before? Inviting the moon to frown and contemplate. It seems a bit familiar. Lianxing didn't initially think it, but when she heard inviting moon say it, she suddenly felt familiar. But after much thought, I can't remember for a moment where I heard it. After a while, Lianxing shook her head and said, forget it, if you can't think of it, then forget it. She turned her gaze back to the silk book and said, Will Yen Lingji believe this kind of nonsense after living for a thousand years? Yen Lingji opened her eyes and looked at me half believing and half doubting for a long time. In the end, she actually said I was bragging. I really I thought she could say something good, forget it, adults don't remember the faults of petty people. If you don't believe them, you won't believe them. But soon, Flame Spirit G asked me some indirect questions about the details of the big fire that occurred back then. After the questions are asked, Flame Spirit G suddenly stared at me with a monster-like gaze. She said that if I hadn't been at the scene of the fire, I wouldn't have known so much in detail. It's obvious that she still believed me in the end. Lianxing. Dot. Okay, Yen Lingji actually believed it. It seems that the mysterious person that Yen Lingji originally mentioned is really Su Meng. So, Su Mengua is really an immortal. Lianxing's doubts and curiosity grew even more intense, and she couldn't wait to continue reading. Yen Lingji asked me again, 
am I not afraid of being cared for by someone with a heart when I speak so generously about Changsheng? She said that there are many people in today's world who yearn for longevity. And none of these people have power and influence, temple officials, Jianghu leaders. Among them, there are even rulers of a country who can wield hundreds of thousands of troops under a single command. She also said that these people have a despicable desire for immortality. Once they know about my existence, they will definitely go crazy looking for me I told her not afraid, she was curious about the reason and asked a few more questions. Well, how do you say it? It's really complicated to explain so, I popularized a knowledge point for her. The power of those who attain eternal life opens up the heaven seeing this, inviting Moon and Lianqing exchanged a glance, both feeling a vague and inexplicable shock in their hearts. Undoubtedly the owner of the diary. Every word spoken is so imposing. His tone is so confident, it sounds like he doesn't even have the fear of a million soldiers. Lianqing looked surprised and murmured. Perhaps that's what he means. Inviting the moon guest. Immediately, the two couldn't help but daydream in their minds. After thinking for a while, I couldn't believe it, what level of strength does a person need to be in order to survive the rampage of millions of soldiers? Actually, it's normal not to understand. After all, even immortality has emerged. After thinking for a moment, Xian Yu said, it's reasonable for one person to withstand a million strong soldiers. Sister, do you really believe it? Lianqing exclaimed in surprise. Inviting the moon without speaking, let Lianqing read her diary. TSK TSK, Yan Lingji seems to be a bit confused. She gave me a crooked head kill, not to mention, it's cute and lovely. She did not continue to inquire about this matter next, we talked about some other things finally, it was already late at night, Yan Lingji plans to leave, and judging from her tone, these two days should be the time for them to take action. At that time, Xinjing city will be in chaos, before leaving, she suddenly asked me, after talking for so long, are we still friends now? Haha <laughs> I knew immediately what kind of trick she was playing, I say, it can be considered. Then Yan Lingji smiled and said, if my friend is in trouble, I will definitely help him, right? Tisk, sure enough, I guessed it right. To be honest, Yan Lingji is quite skilled at getting things done. I said, of course. Yan Lingji smiled again and gave me a seductive glance. I told her again that if it's necessary to help, it's not a problem. Just dance in front of me afterwards. Ha ha ha, Yan Lingji's face turned red unexpectedly. It's really unexpected at this point, this silk book has come to an end. Inviting the moon, she put it away and said, the owner of this diary is an extraordinary person. The essay diary recorded on it is also interesting. That's right. On the side, Lian Xing was also somewhat unsatisfied, moreover, let a beautiful woman like Yan Lingji dance. TSK TSK, this person really enjoys it. Even I want to take a look. I just don't know, how much of the content of this essay diary is true or false. To be honest, whether it's the millennium old hall where the diary is placed, including a lot of information leaked from the diary these don't seem to be fake. The only thing that made the two people suspicious was that the diary owner Su Meng said that he was an immortal. Lianqing rummaged through the bronze box again, wanting to see the follow dot up content of her diary. Su Meng. Su Meng. Where on earth have you heard of it? Under the long corridor and ancient pavilion, the inviting moon lingers on both sides, pondering carefully. Upon hearing this, Lianqing was also pondering beside her. For a long time inviting moon suddenly asked, Lianqing, have you thought of it? Not yet. Lianqing shook her head. The words fell to the ground, and then she noticed that inviting moon suddenly walked out of the ancient pavilion and walked straight in a certain direction. Sister. Where are you going? Lianqing asked curiously. Inviting the moon, looking back with profound meaning, said, Library, find a book. Looking for books. Lianqing was stunned for a moment. 
Quickly, as if a lightning bolt had struck her mind, she suddenly remembered something and then widened her eyes. Ah! I remember. Master's letter. The name Su Meng once appeared in Shizu's letter. No wonder they are so familiar. After speaking, she quickly picked up the palace skirt and quickly caught up with the invitation moon. Sister, wait for me. The new book set sail. If you think it's okay, give me some recommended tickets or monthly tickets. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 The Strange Man in the Ancestor's Letter, from 700 years ago in the Palace of Moving Flowers. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 The Strange Man in the Ancestor's Letter and the Origins of the Flower Palace 700 Years Ago Grand Palace Master Second Palace Master On the way to the library, many disciples of the Flower Moving Palace respectfully paid their respects to the two of them. The two of them quickly arrived at the place. There are also many disciples in the library who stand up and salute when they see the two of them. Wow! So the palace master will also come to the library. See you for the first time. And it was also two palace lords who came together. I don't know what the palace master is doing here. Dot. Ignoring the discussion, the two of them followed the stairs to the top floor and walked deeper. I found a quaint notebook in the long bookshelf. Found. Shizu's letter. More than 700 years ago, there was a woman with profound martial arts skills who had been wandering the martial arts world for many years and was tired of the conflicts in the martial arts world. So, after years of seclusion, a flower-moving palace was established here. That is to say, that woman is the founder of the Ihua Palace. And this thick letter was left by the woman. There are many things recorded above. Among them, there is the process of establishing a transfer flower palace, there is also an introduction to her life, and the various rules she left for future disciples and grandchildren, and regarding the inheritance of various unique skills in the Ihua Palace. For example, the top-dot-notch palm technique known as, moving flowers and receiving jade, as well as the top-dot-notch mental technique, Mingyu Gong, and so on. Upon receiving the letter, inviting Moon immediately began flipping through the pages, and rows of delicate and beautiful handwriting flashed through her eyes. At this point, the problem arises. The content recorded in the letter is very diverse, and the entire notebook is very thick. It is quite difficult to find a name from it. At least the invitation month has been flipped for half a day, but it hasn't been flipped yet. So she didn't feel like flipping through it. How about we let Moon Nu come and find her later? Inviting Moon thought for a moment. And at this point, Lianxing, who had been thinking for a long time, suddenly reminded her. Sister, look for it in the back. I remember. Probably the section when Shizu created Mingyu Gong. Dot. Inviting Moon continued to search again and soon found what was recorded above. I'm so angry. So angry this girl has failed again, how many times is this? Damn it, I'm too lazy to keep track of it as soon as it's repeated. It turns out that creating a martial arts technique is so difficult. I've been staying up late every day these days, and I've been suffering from hair loss. Sigh, pity my beautiful hair. Sigh, I didn't feel so tired from wandering the rivers and lakes back then. No, who is this girl? How could a famous chivalrous woman in the martial arts world be defeated by such setbacks? Continue to work hard, be sure to integrate what you have learned, I will definitely create a unique martial arts technique in the world. Huh, even after watching it so many times, I still find Shizu's personality very interesting. The smile on Lianxing's pretty face couldn't be concealed. Inviting the moon nodded in agreement. The two continued to search, ignoring the complaints of their ancestors after a series of failed creative techniques. But instead, we found the key parts. I'm exhausted, I've finally reached the fifth level but that's not the limit yet, this girl can continue. But when it comes to it. It's also strange when I first created this technique, 
I encountered obstacles everywhere and my creative speed was extremely slow, often there is no progress for several months in a row. Just creating the first layer wasted a year of my time when did the progress start to soar, after careful consideration of this question, I finally came up with an answer, which is. After encountering that guy, the progress took off, here we go, it's him. Upon seeing this, Lianxing immediately pointed and spoke. Well, I know. Inviting Moon squinted her eyes. For some reason, both of them became nervous and continued to look down with anticipation. Yes, that's right. Although that guy often talks nonsense, every time I talk to him, I feel a wonderful feeling. It's like an epiphany, driven by that feeling every time I create a technique, I feel a sense of smooth and natural progress, and all the problems that have troubled me in the past are easily solved what exactly is going on, after thinking for a long time, I couldn't figure it out, so I decided to go ask that guy. Dot. Ha ha ha, after several days of my girl's relentless bombardment, that guy finally told the truth. It's indeed him, he said, one thing is fate. Secondly, he felt pity for me because he saw that I had made myself look different from a human because of creating martial arts. That's why he stayed to guide me, woo woo, this young lady of my generation has been pitted by people. But looking back now, what did he mean by, fate, humph? Anyway, I have decided to pester him and ask that guy to help me. I feel that I cannot create a martial art solely on my own, dot. He agreed. Ha, huh, dot. Wow. What kind of person is that guy? He's so amazing this has only been a week, in just a little time, just verbal guidance prompted me to deduce and create this skill to the seventh level. This directly saved me several years of effort this person is too strong, I have a feeling that this guy is definitely the most amazing person in the world. But it's strange and curious, I've never heard of such a powerful person before when I was wandering in the martial arts world. I asked him, but he said he just woke up not long ago, ah. Uh, what's going on? Why didn't I understand, just woke up soon. Inviting Moon and Lianqing feel like they have caught the key words. Sister, what do you mean? Lianxing immediately asked. Inviting you pondered for a moment before finally shaking her head. She doesn't know either, but there must be something fishy here. Remember it first. Lianxing couldn't help but say. He also said he had a connection with Shizu. I didn't pay so much attention to these things before. Looking back now, there are indeed many ways. Inviting the moon is also very curious. What does this so dot called fate mean? Is it difficult for him and his master to poo, poo? I feel guilty about inviting the moon and feel that I am desecrating my master. She continued to read her grandfather's letter. Now it's very interesting. That guy told me not to create the last eight or nine layers of the cultivation method. I want to know the reason he said he was going to tell me something else, he also said, let me listen carefully. If I can integrate these things into the cultivation, the quality of this cultivation will be elevated to a higher level. Wow I suddenly started to look forward to it the day when that guy gave a lecture has finally arrived, my girl is ready to listen to the class. To be honest, I have thought about many scenarios. Unexpectedly, the first sentence he spoke was. About longevity, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 The Origin of Mingyu Gong, a strange person who has lived for nearly 2,000 years. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 The Origin of Mingyu Gong, a strange person who has lived for nearly 2,000 years. Longevity Inviting the moon and Lianqing's gaze are both together. Isn't that right? Last time I read my grandfather's letter, I forgot it was a few years ago, and I used to just read it as a bedtime story. Lianqing sighed and said. Me too. The invitation month nodded. No way, who would have thought before that the so dot called longevity in the letter could very well be the true longevity. No one has ever thought of the palace masters of the Ihua Palace. The two continued to look down. I'm curious. Chongsheng. 
Are you sure you heard me right but he told me not to ask too much, just listen so this lecture lasted for two whole months however, according to his statement, two months is already quite short because he hasn't delved into many things. Otherwise, we won't be able to finish it for two years to be honest I have truly benefited greatly, as if listening to the words of a sage after finishing the class, my mind was filled with inspiration, and I felt like my brain would explode on the spot if I didn't digest it the content of this page ends, and the invitation month casually flips over. On the next page, it is evident that a period of time has been skipped. Amazing. That guy is really too strong. Inspired by lectures. I surprisingly completed the eight or nine levels of the technique in such a short amount of time, and the completion rate was extremely high, it's really unbelievable. This is several years earlier than I had anticipated before. Damn it, that guy is so charming. I don't know if it's an illusion, but I feel like I admire him a bit. Woo woo, I was hit hard. I found him and talked about the cultivation method, and then he asked me, what is the mystery of the eight or nine layers of this cultivation method? I was still very excited at the time the greatest mystery lies in the fact that, apart from the power of the cultivation method itself, it has been enhanced several times can make a person's appearance last forever after cultivation, even at an old age, one's physical appearance can always remain the same as when they were young if practiced properly. One's lifespan can also increase I excitedly told him that this kind of cultivation is the only one in the world, result. He actually looked at me with a very disdainful gaze and then he said is that all, he said he spent two months teaching me, and I realized this thing. Shaming. He also said, my intelligence is too poor. Woo woo, it's really shocking. Finally, he asked me again, did I only understand 1 or 2 percent of what he had said before? Woo woo, although I don't want to admit it, I have to say. He guessed it right. Can I be blamed for this his lectures are like sage speeches, obscure and difficult to understand. It is already remarkable that he can comprehend so many things after all, no matter what, I am at least a well-known figure in the martial arts world there are few people in the world who have better intelligence than me seeing this, Lianxing suddenly sighed and said, unfortunately, Shizu did not record the content of the lecture. Inviting the moon also felt very regretful. The content of the lecture back then must have been shocking to the world. After only understanding one or two percent, Shizu created a technique that could stop the appearance and even prolong life. If you understand everything that result is unimaginable. The most crucial thing is that they only briefly explained it, without daring to delve deeper. The cultivation has reached the ninth level, and I have decided not to continue with further deduction and creation. He also agrees, he said that although this technique is useless, it is already completely sufficient in today's martial arts world. By the way, he also gave a name to the cultivation method. Mingyu Gong seeing this, Lianxing couldn't help roast. The name of such a powerful skill was so hastily decided. It sounds very nice and appropriate. As the name suggests, I did a great job, said the invitation moon calmly Lianxing pouted again and complained, but that guy actually said, Mingyu Gong, is trash. Perhaps in his eyes, this is also a fact. Inviting the moon side. Humph. Although he has always despised this cultivation method as too rubbish, but no matter what, this cultivation has never left his shadow from its inception to its end. I'm also embarrassed to shamelessly say that this cultivation method was created by me alone. So remember his name. Su Meng that guy's name is Su Meng at this point, the section on creating Mingyu Gong in the manuscript ends. Is it him? After a moment of silence, inviting Moon asked. 8 out of 10, said Lianqing. After confirmation, the two exchanged a glance and both noticed the shock in each other's eyes. Subsequently, inviting Moon secretly calculated and took a deep breath. Judging from Su Meng's previous essays, it should have been during the Warring States period. At that time, he was already alive. And the founder was active during the Tang Dynasty, and the Ihua Palace was officially established at that time. At this point, 
inviting Moon suddenly fell silent for a moment. Lianqing opened his mouth. Incredibly, he added, there was a gap of over 800 years between the Warring States period and the Tang Dynasty, but he was always there. Moreover, during the Warring States period, he had already lived for a thousand years that is to say, when he met his ancestor, Su Meng was at least over 1800 years old. Nearly 2000 years old. For a moment, the two were extremely shocked and their emotions were myriad. Immortality is true. For a long time Lian Xing finally came to his senses from the shock and said, My ancestor didn't record much, and I won't talk about what happened afterwards. She also wants to know where Su Meng went later. Perhaps I should know a little. At this moment, inviting you put the letter back in place and suddenly said. Lianqing looked at the invitation moon in surprise. Inviting you explained, I once heard the previous palace master mention it by chance. Sister, please explain it in detail, Lianqing asked curiously. Inviting the moon organized some language and began to tell, according to what the previous palace lord said. More than 700 years ago, our ancestors established the flower moving palace here. With the dominance of Mingyu Gong. At that time, our ancestors' martial arts were unparalleled and unmatched. And the Flower Moving Palace also rapidly grew in the martial arts world, quickly becoming one of the top powers in the world. I thought my ancestor would lead the development of the Flower Moving Palace. I don't know why. Suddenly one day, the founder selected the best disciple from all the disciples and appointed him as the new palace master. And the ancestor, on the other hand, left the moving flower palace alone. When someone asked, the ancestor only said that he had decided to find a destined person. Since then, the founder has never returned. Lianqing heard about this for the first time, so she listened very seriously. After listening, she suddenly realized, no wonder all the palace lords of the past have not buried their ancestors here. But. Lianqing asked in confusion, what is this related to Su Meng? Zhao Yue looked at Lianqing and asked, Do you think Shizu went to find Su Meng? This. Lianqing is helpless, is this speculation a bit forced? But soon something came to mind. So her eyes lit up, and after a light sigh, her thoughts also changed. It's not impossible. Shizu said he was looking for someone who was destined. In the letter, Su Meng once said that Shizu was his destined person. The two looked at each other, and if this guess was not mistaken, wouldn't it mean the relationship between Shizu and Su Meng back then was probably not simple. Suddenly eating grandpa's melons, Lianqing's gossip filled her heart and she said, I don't know if Shizu finally found Su Meng. What if we find it? Inviting you shook her head and said, Master Zhu cannot live forever, and Su Meng. She suddenly stopped talking. After a moment, Zhao Yue suddenly looked at Lianqing and said, You said, more than 700 years have passed. Is that Su Meng still alive now? Thank you, Yunhai Qingxiang, Book Friend 2020040318011206464. Is it possible to vote for a recommendation? Thank you, thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Trading with Flame Spirit Concubine The Blood Clothed Marquis, Famous for Thousands of Years You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Trading with Flame Spirit Concubine The Blood Clothed Marquis, Famous for Thousands of Years, 700 Years Have Passed, Is Su Meng Still Alive Now? It is clearly a very serious question. But falling into Lianqing's ear made her feel a bit inexplicable horror. Inviting the moon also feels the same. If he is still alive today, where is he now? I have never heard of his name in the martial arts world, and even considering his age, he is already over 2000 years old. People like this feel terrifying just thinking about it. Oh, what are you afraid of? Let's not talk about the relationship between Zushi and Su Meng for now. According to the content of Shizu's letter, the founders of Mingyu Gong are Zushi and Su Meng. 
By this calculation, Su Meng can also be considered as half of my ancestor in the flower moving palace. Inviting the moon couldn't help but say. That makes sense. Upon hearing this, Lianxing immediately breathed a sigh of relief. Moreover, our relationship with Su Meng is not just that simple, said the invitation month Ah. Lianxing was a bit puzzled and said, what other origins do we have? Does my sister still know something she doesn't know? But soon, she saw her sister's reminder. Inviting Moon pointed to her hand. Lianxing instinctively raised her hand. In her hand, she was holding a silk book. This is the silk book she brought from the bronze box when she arrived at the library just now. That underground hall, without any accidents, is also Su Meng's masterpiece. Speaking of which, the invitation month seems to have understood a bit. Perhaps. The reason why Su Meng said he had a connection with Shizu. Perhaps it was because Shizu accidentally built the Ihua Palace on top of that underground hall. Inviting the moon to make a guess. Lianxing was shocked by this conjecture. But upon careful consideration, there really makes some sense. Take a look at the silk book in your hand again. I'm becoming increasingly curious about Su Meng, said the invitation month, perhaps we can still learn a lot of amazing information from these essays. After all, Su Meng is a character who has lived for thousands of years. That's like a walking information database. There must be many ancient secrets that have not been recorded in his essay diary. Lianxing also felt a bit tempted. She immediately unfolded the silk book, and the two women found a place to sit and continued reading together. Tisk, hearing is believing, seeing is believing. It has to be said that, Flame Spirit G is truly a peerless beauty. On weekdays, when fighting, one person can easily stop over a hundred soldiers, and can also be considered a heroine among women when dancing, however, it is light and gentle, delicate and charming, both pleasing to the eye and flavorful. The enchanting dance, the graceful and curvaceous figure, and the faint spot under the blue clothes. Really, I almost couldn't even control it. Lianxing. Dot. Invitation month. Dot. The expressions on their faces as they watched attentively suddenly became tense. Pooh, he's not a good person either. Lianxing couldn't help but spit. Yen Lingji danced for him. The invitation month analyzed, does it mean that the last agreement has already passed? When Yen Lingji needs help, Su Meng should have helped her, but unfortunately there seems to be no record in her diary. Lianxing also remembered the previous content and felt that what Inviting Moon said made sense. The two continued to look down. After the dance is over, I applaud and cheer for her she rolled her eyes, and then asked me, today she came all the way to dance for me. Can you help her tomorrow? Seeing this, Inviting Moon and Lianxing were stunned for a moment. Emotions haven't helped yet. This so you let Yen Lingji dance. The last agreement was not like this. For the sake of my friend's face, I agreed to her next she stayed in my room all night, mmm, she insisted that tomorrow's enemy was very dangerous, so she thoughtfully gave me a science popularization about the enemy I was about to face. I'm thinking, isn't it just the ones at night? White blood clothes waiting, jade tigers on rocks, tied fairies on the blue sea, and visitors in raincoat under the moon. She said that especially the blood-clothed Marquis Baifei, the most important thing to be wary of is to muster up twelve points of energy when encountering him. Bloody Marquis. Inviting Moon stayed on this name for a while longer. She knows this person. This person was a hereditary high dot ranking official in South Korea during the late Warring States period, with 100,000 soldiers in command. Although it is now the Ming Dynasty, it has been a thousand years since then. But the name Bloody Marquis Bai is not the same, nowadays, it still frequently appears in many folk story collections. And pick out any book you like, the blood clothed Marquis mentioned in it is a top dot notch figure with strong martial arts skills and advanced techniques. Unexpectedly, this person also appears in this essay. Listening to Yen Lingji's tone, 
it seems that she is somewhat wary of the blood-clothed Marquis. Looking at it this way, the blood-clothed Marquis is quite similar to the image portrayed in many story collections, said Zhao Yue, somewhat surprised Lianqing nodded and said, and this night curtain, dot. Even the famous blood clothes Marquis is just one of them, this organization should be very powerful. Invitation Moon said. Su Meng was the helper brought in by Yan Lingji. If nothing unexpected happens, he should be facing the blood clothes Marquis. Lianqing suddenly felt a little curious inside. Su Meng is immortal, and his martial arts skills are definitely not weak. And the blood clothed Marquis, whose name has been passed down among the people for thousands of years, cannot be judged by ordinary people. If these two people come together, it will definitely be very exciting. The two continued to look down. The next night, I went to the scene and a group of people had already started fighting, TSK, the fight was really intense. And there's one place that's very eye-dot-catching. In that corner, half of the sky was blazing with flames, while the remaining half was covered in ice, with a chilling chill, huh, water and fire are incompatible, no wonder flame spirit G has always been displeased with the blood clothed Marquis. Ice layer. Does blood clothed Marquis have similar abilities to flame spirit G, exclaimed inviting moon in surprise Lianqing was also somewhat surprised. This kind of ability, not to mention the current martial arts world, has never been heard of for hundreds of years. It's unbelievable that both of the two people mentioned in the diary have this ability. Is this the standard configuration of that era? Although Su Meng is full of mystery, how can he resist this kind of guy? Lianqing couldn't help but speculate in her heart. Yan Lingji seems to be struggling, and indeed, she is far from being a match for the blood-clothed Marquis. The flames were completely suppressed by the cold eyes she can't hold on any more ah. Yan Lingji seems to have looked at me, is this a woman's sixth sense? I can still sense it from such a distance, oh, she even glared at me, complaining that I didn't go to help immediately. I found a neutral position and saved flame spirit G, ha ha ha, it seems that the blood clothes lord was startled by me. He probably didn't see where I came from, did he? End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Familiar people, pills of fortune and misfortune depend on each other. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 Familiar people, pills of fortune and misfortune depend on each other. Su Meng's martial arts are very high. Seeing this, the invitation month finally came to a conclusion. Lianqing nodded in agreement. Famous for thousands of years, with cold ice ability and strength to suppress the flame spirit Qi. All signs indicate that the blood-clothed Marquis is by no means a simple person. But Su Meng was able to easily save Yan Lingji from his hands, which almost made him unable to react. This martial arts skill is probably already at its peak. On the way back, Yan Lingji kept secretly glancing at me, as if she had a lot of questions to ask me, clearly. The reaction of blood clothes Marquis when he saw me just now was noticed by the careful flame spirit G. Seeing this, inviting the moon thought it was because she had overlooked it and confirmed it several times. Hey, why did you jump over? Lianqing was also stunned for a moment. Later, he said somewhat unwillingly, damn it. What's the reaction of the blood clothed Marquis? I won't go into detail about what happened. Inviting you shook her head helplessly beside her, and as she continued to look down, she found that the following could also be considered an explanation. After returning to my tea house, Yan Lingji finally couldn't help but spit out all her doubts in one breath, she asked me, why is the blood clothes lord so afraid of me? Why does the blood-clothed Marquis appear towering and invincible when he appears for a second but it seems that as soon as you see me, suddenly changed his appearance, becoming anxious and fearful? It's like seeing a ghost, she said that the blood-clothed Marquis was a hereditary aristocrat in South Korea, holding military power and being cruel and bloodthirsty. Both ordinary people and high dot ranking officials and nobles never dare to act recklessly in front of the blood-clothed Marquis, Bloody Marquis Bai is also not. In everyone's impression, 
these six words have always been synonymous with fear she doesn't understand, how could such a blood-clothed marquis have an inexplicable fear of me? Even if I asked the blood-clothed marquis to take action, he was completely afraid to take action and only dared to watch us leave, she asked me, what's going on here? After reading this long passage, it surprised Zhao Yue and Lianxing a bit. The development of things was too unexpected. The blood-clothed marquis dares not take action against Su Meng. Lianxing's eyes lit up and she guessed, did Su Meng suddenly appear before, which made him feel uneasy. Lianxing regarded her essay diary as a story and was completely immersed in it. Keep watching. Lianxing looked down curiously. Tisk, Yen Lingji is such a curious baby. She asked me so many questions just as she entered the door. Not even paying attention to one's own image I casually brought her a clean piece of clothing and asked her to change it first, Tisk Tsk, Yen Lingji is really a beautiful embryo, sometimes passionate like fire, sometimes enchanting and charming. Even the slightly disheveled appearance now gives me a unique taste to appreciate Yen Lingji was changing clothes behind the bed curtain, rustling, I told her that many years ago, King Han captured the land of Baiyue and slaughtered all the Baiyue royal family. At that time, the head coach of the Korean campaign was the blood-clothed Marquis Baiyue coincidentally at that time, I happened to be staying in the land of Baiyue, coincidentally, during the march of the Korean army, I had a chance encounter with this blood-clothed Marquis. Flame Spirit Ji suddenly asked me, have I ever been at war with the blood-clothed Marquis at that time? I said of course not. What kind of fight is there without any grudges or grievances? Lianqing and Inviting Moon immediately looked at each other. Both of them were somewhat speechless. Looking at the content in the diary, they just had the same thoughts as Yan Lingji. I didn't expect it to be a false shot. But thinking about it is also right. What should we fight without any grudges or grievances? Since nothing has happened, why is the blood-clothed Marquis afraid of Su Meng? Both of them were somewhat puzzled. However, when Bai Yifei attacked the land of Bai Yue, he did something that made me unhappy. He sucked several women's blood dry under my nose I caught that scene, originally, it was nothing, but Bai Yifei said that anyone who saw it would die. So I gave him an education class before leaving, I told him that if he still persists in his behavior when we meet again, I will give him another lesson I was just trying to scare him when I said that I didn't expect that after so many years, Baifei still remembers me. Sucking human blood. Lianxing took a breath and exclaimed in surprise, Hiss, how could the blood-clothed Marquis have such a habit? It should be related to the cultivation techniques he practiced, maybe it could be some kind of sequelae, said Xian Yu after thinking for a moment Lianxing thinks it makes a lot of sense. This kind of thing may sound insidious, but if carefully investigated, similar incidents have not been uncommon throughout history. Let's talk about those who are still alive today, not just those who are far away. There is a sect called Mingjiao that came from the western regions, and its overall strength is also top-dot-notch in today's martial arts world. There are four masters under the Mingjiao throne, collectively known as the Four Great Dharma Kings. One of them is named Wei Yixiao, known as the Blue Winged Bat King, with first dot class likeness skills in the world. This person is like someone who made a mistake while practicing martial arts and must constantly absorb blood to suppress it, otherwise they will die from a cold poison attack. Quickly, Lianxing looked at the diary content and suddenly laughed again. Bai is not so afraid of Su Meng. The original education class should not have been just about education. Yan Lingji changed into a fitted set of blue and blue clothes, then lifted the bed curtain and walked down. Yan Lingji despises Bai Yifei very much and finds that person very disgusting. Why didn't I kill Bai Yifei back then? I told Yan Lingji that I rarely kill people. But Yan Lingji didn't believe it, okay, believe it or not. Flame Spirit Ji was injured by the cold during her previous battle with the Blood Clothed Marquis. I gave her a pill to make more adjustments. Yan Lingji was surprised that I still had pills on me. She asked if I had brought them from a Taoist school. Huh, 
Taoist, I asked Yan Lingji to guess where the Taoist alchemy came from. I told her that this pill has a strong medicinal effect, which can help her recover quickly and even greatly increase her martial arts skills. But good and bad are mixed, and good and bad depend on each other. Although it has a strong medicinal effect, if you want to fully absorb the effects of this pill, you need to immerse yourself in absorbing it. I specifically emphasized this to her, Yan Lingji listened very attentively, and finally vowed to pay attention. Taoist Alchemy Inviting Moon and Lianxing exchanged a glance, both feeling somewhat moved. In today's Ming Dynasty, Taoism was still very powerful, especially the one from Wudang who also mastered quite powerful alchemy techniques. The two continued to look down. At night, after swallowing the pill, Flame Spirit Qi lost control. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 The taste of Flame Spirit Concubine is really good. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 The taste of Flame Spirit Concubine is really good. Out of control. Inviting Moon and Lianxing noticed that this term is somewhat difficult to understand. It's just a healing medicine what the hell is losing control. They do not possess the ability to refine alchemy in the flower moving palace, but they are also familiar with the alchemy path. Moreover, there are also elixirs gifted by Wudang in the Ihua palace. Two people are puzzled. What kind of pill can make people lose control when they eat it? I'm afraid it's not fake medicine, right? Lianxing couldn't help but doubt. The invitation month did not respond, but continued to read on. Flame Spirit Ji obviously didn't take my words to heart. After swallowing the pill, although the injury has recovered to its original state, the powerful medicinal effect is still stimulating the exploration of her potential her skills have greatly increased unfortunately, Yan Lingji was unable to control it in time and eventually lost control, only one step away from becoming possessed by the demon, going crazy. Lianxing felt a chill in her heart, didn't she? She was very surprised in her heart and said, what kind of pill is this? Its efficacy is so powerful. Inviting the moon shook her head. The efficacy of this pill is unprecedented. You should know that most of the current elixirs are used for healing and detoxification. I have never heard of any pill that can greatly enhance my martial arts skills. How do you feel that over a thousand years ago, there were treasures everywhere? Now surprisingly, all of them have been lost. Lianxing feels very regretful. Inviting the moon, she said, it's actually good if this kind of medicinal pill has been lost. Her tone had a hint of criticism in her eyes. To practice martial arts, one should be down dot to dot earth and use elixirs to enhance one's strength. Ultimately, it cannot be the right path. Lianxing thinks it makes a lot of sense. But after thinking for a moment, he suddenly asked, what if there are records of ancient alchemy in these essays? Inviting the moon said with an unchanged expression, of course it was copied down and used as my secret script for the flower palace. The two of them exchanged a very tacit glance. After a moment, he looked back at the diary and said, I don't know what happened to Yan Lingji in the end. Yan Lingji's ability got out of control, and the big fire burned down half of my tea house. Fortunately, I was prepared early on the problem of the spread of the fire can be easily solved, but the trouble is with Flame Spirit Ji her potential was suddenly unleashed, her abilities spiraled out of control, and she also lost consciousness this girl, with her current burning desire, if you encounter someone with a heart, you won't have the strength to resist. Burning with desire is it as they understand it. Inviting Moon and Lianxing looked at each other with some concern about the situation of Yan Lingji. Don't worry, Master Su Meng is not that kind of person. After thinking for a moment, Inviting Moon said. Lian Xing nodded and said, I know. Last time, Su Meng didn't even take action, did he? He is a righteous and upright person. The two immediately continued to look down. Fortunately, it was me who met I took her to a safe place and it took me three days to get her out of danger she is very grateful to me I said I don't need to thank you, but I need to compensate my tea house I told her that I had worked hard to manage that tea house for many years, 
but now it has been burned down and there is no residue left. As a friend, saving lives is a matter of course and does not require any reward, but my dear brothers always keep an eye on it and cannot leave behind anything that should be compensated. He is truly the founder of Su Meng. Lianqing sighed and said, Indeed, he did not take advantage of the danger of others, and he also had his own principles. After reading the contents of Shizu's letter, Lianqing and inviting Moon clearly regarded Su Meng as half the ancestor of the flower moving palace. It's a pity that Su Meng's tea house is here. Inviting the Moon shook her head. She asked me, How much is it? She said she will compensate. I told her a number, then, for a moment, Yen Lingji's gaze avoided me, as if she wanted to jump out of the window and run away. She said I'm a scammer, it's impossible for me to be so expensive. I told her, don't forget that's the best location in Xinjiang City. Also, my tea house is located right next to the Purple Orchid Pavilion, and business is very hot, Purple Orchid Pavilion. Lianqing looked at the invitation moon in confusion. Purple Orchid Pavilion Purple Orchid Pavilion After carefully savoring the invitation, the moon hesitated and whispered in the end. Does it sound like a romantic place? A place of wind and moon. Lianqing widened her eyes and approached that place but soon, she shook her head. No, not really. I don't even think about it, who is the founder of Su Meng? He is a gentleman. How could a gentleman open a tea house in such a place? Moreover, Master Su Meng was an immortal who lived for countless years. Rich experience and a pattern of swallowing mountains and rivers how could such a person be interested in that kind of place? Thinking of this, Lianqing couldn't help but retort. Sister, I dare not agree this time. I actually feel that this purple orchid pavilion is more like a place for literati to exchange ideas at that time. Purple orchid pavilion is very elegant upon hearing. Inviting the moon made some sense after thinking about it, but I didn't delve deeper. Yen Lingji left for half a month, and when she saw her again, she brought a box of treasure. I have taken all of it, but it's still far from enough next every once in a while, Flame Spirit Ji brings a sum of money to repay the debt she owes during this period, Xinjiang City has remained relatively calm, in addition, the tea house is currently closed, and I have nothing to do, so I have become a regular visitor to the Purple Orchid Pavilion. Seeing this, Lianqing suddenly said. When I have nothing to do on weekdays, I would flip through books to cultivate my character. Su Mengzu is probably the same as me. Zhao Yue and Lianqing grew up together since childhood, knowing Lianqing's habits and knowing that she did not lie. Inviting you nodded lightly and also agreed with Lianqing's viewpoint. Xinjiang City is the capital of South Korea, and it is indeed a place for literati to exchange ideas. Perhaps it is this Purple Orchid Pavilion. After my investigation for a period of time, it has to be said that no new girl is truly the top Qin lady of the Purple Orchid Pavilion, with exceptional Qin skills. The other dancers are also good, like Kai Dai and Hong Yu, each with their own style. Inviting Moon and Lianqing looked at each other in silence for a long time. So is this Purple Orchid Pavilion really a romantic place? The two of them pursed their mouths and didn't speak, which was a bit difficult to accept for a while. But soon, when they saw the following sentence, they breathed a sigh of relief. No wonder there are so many people every day, but unfortunately, performing arts doesn't sell oneself. It's not a romantic place at all, it's just a common place for singing and dancing. Lianqing said that Su Meng's character is still guaranteed. After more than a month, Yan Lingji finally returned to repay the debt, but there is still a lot to be paid off, after careful consideration, I finally decided to let it go. Money is an external possession, and the value of friendship is even more expensive secondly, I am not short of money either Yan Lingji is a good woman. She is not afraid of the heavens and the earth on weekdays. She fights and kills people, but deep down she is actually very weak she was surprised by my decision inviting you shook her head and said with a smirk, that big fire seems to have caused Yan Lingji a heavy loss. Fortunately, I met the ancestor Su Meng. Lianqing said. 
and Su Meng's words also went into their hearts, money is just an external possession. Friendship is the most precious. As the masters of the flower moving palace, they are well dot known in the martial arts world and never dare to seek any friendship. But figures like Su Meng exchanged money for friendship, what is this called? This is called a pattern. For a moment, Lianqing admired Su Meng even more. But soon, when she saw the next sentence in her diary, she knew she was narrow dot minded, money is not only exchanged for friendship. The Taste of Flame Spirit G is really good, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 Witnesses of History Embroidered Jade Valley You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Witnesses of History Embroidered Jade Valley What? This sudden sentence was completely unexpected, and suddenly fell silent on inviting Moon and Lianqing. The two seemed to have their throats stuck and couldn't say a word. Good guy. This time it's really narrow dot minded. Originally, money not only exchanged for friendship, but also for personal relationships. Surprisingly, Master Su Meng. Lianqing blushed and held it for a while before saying anything, so she chose to continue reading. I suddenly have a good idea the Purple Orchid Pavilion Jade Making Girl is famous for her piano skills, and once she listens to it, she will become addicted, and the dance performed by Flame Spirit G is also a masterpiece in the world. There are many dancers in the Purple Orchid Pavilion, but no one can surpass her. If they were both together, the effect would be very good I don't know if Miss Nong Yu is willing to, one song and one dance. Song and dance are both excellent. Lianqing saw this and a smile appeared between her eyebrows and eyes. To be honest, Master Su Meng will enjoy it. After all, I have lived for so long. Inviting the moon felt a bit helpless, and she didn't know what to say. Their purpose in reading silk books is to see if they can discover any ancient secrets from them. For example, some alchemy techniques or ancient lost martial arts. If there is one of them, it would be a rare treasure for the moving flower palace. I didn't expect to see anything, but I saw the history of my ancestors about that aspect. Although human curiosity urged her to continue reading. But she always felt a bit disrespectful towards her mentor. At this moment, Lianqing suddenly had an idea and smiled. Su Meng invited No Yu and Yenling Ji, will something happen then? Inviting Moon immediately glared at Lianqing. Miss Nong Yu agreed to my suggestion and performed a stunning and unparalleled program together with Yen Lingji. As the only audience, I gave them extremely high praise only one thing makes me feel regretful. The purple girl did not come as the owner of the purple orchid pavilion, when she wields her red practice sword, it is like dancing, gentle yet full of a killing aura. If that kind of dance is added, it should be quite good, I sent Miss Nong Yu back to the purple orchid pavilion, and then went back to find Yen Lingji. Tonight is destined to be another beautiful day inviting the moon adheres to the principle of respecting teachers and valuing morality, and tacitly chooses to ignore the last sentence. Lianqing, on the other hand, let out a low sigh, as if it was because what she had hoped for had not happened. The owner of Purple Orchid Pavilion, Purple Lady. Have you ever heard of it? Inviting the moon to ask Lianqing. Lianqing shook her head and pointed to the silk book, saying, but I have heard of the red practice sword. It is said that it looks like a red chain snake. Can be used as a whip and a straight sword, it is a quite exquisite weapon. There have been some records of this on ancient weapons. Inviting the moon to nod, this sword has had many female masters in history. Although it has long been lost, due to the unique form of the red practice sword, everyone can easily remember it once they have seen it. Many forging masters once imitated it, but without exception, all ended in failure. As a result, the topic of which forging master made the red practice sword has sparked a heated discussion in the martial arts world for a long time. So now that I see red practice sword, it's inevitable to pay more attention. Flame Spirit Ji comes from Baiyue and has been obedient to Tianzi for many years, helping Tianzi complete his revenge plan. I asked her, what happens after helping Tianzi seek revenge? 
She opened her eyes exhausted, then shook her head and said she didn't know, and she was also very confused. Okay, it's so pitiful. She's another little girl who doesn't have a goal and doesn't know why she's living. She is very unwilling to hear me criticize her, she started asking me back, wanting to know why I live. Ha, huh, I'm joking that I don't know either. Yan Lingji suddenly turned over and said seriously, after revenge, let's go find the answer to this question together. It's not impossible. Seeing this, Inviting Moon also thought about her own goal, which was nothing more than finding ways to make the moving flower palace stronger. What is Shizu's goal? Inviting the moon is a bit curious. A voice from Yenxing came from beside. Sister, do you think? Where did the founder and the two of them talk? What does it mean? The invitation moon frowned. Yenxing pointed to the diary content and said, Look at Yan Lingji, who is both tired and turned over. What was done just now, where it was done, and the direction seems very clear. Inviting you immediately glanced at her with a warning glance. Understood. Su Meng is half of my ancestor in the flower moving palace. The flame spirit Ji in that diary is half of my grandmother in the moving flower palace. Lianqing understood and immediately shut up after speaking. She quickly took out a new silk book with her head down. The matter with Xinjiang city is coming to an end, and Yan Lingji specifically came to see me, intending to fulfill the previously agreed upon agreement I took her on a trip along the way, we witnessed firsthand the scene of the two armies fighting, the casualties were severe, with a smell of blood wafting from 800 meters away. I also saw a bustling and bustling city, which became a mess after the army, dead and silent. We saw many terrible scenes, even Yan Lingji felt terrible. She said, I seem very calm. Of course, war does not happen suddenly. But it started hundreds of years ago, and over these centuries, I have always been a witness what is a city worth. I don't know how many prosperous dynasties have been destroyed before my eyes, over time, I naturally don't feel much about these things anymore. However, I told her, it's almost too fast. She asked me what she meant, I told her that the ancestral dragon from heaven has descended, and it won't be long before the world becomes peaceful. He is truly the founder of Su Meng. Seeing this, inviting Moon couldn't help but exclaim in amazement. Surprisingly able to predict the future perfectly. Lianqing also feels that foreseeing the future is very powerful, even unbelievable, unbelievable. But when I thought it was Su Meng, I also thought it was reasonable. We finally stopped at a valley this place is indeed good by the mountains and by the water, a hundred flowers bloom like a fairyland, and the most important thing is to be able to stay away from secular disputes. No matter how chaotic the outside is, it can't disturb this place at all, Yan Lingji likes this place very much because there are red maple trees everywhere, which look like flames from a distance, which suits her taste very well. She said that after everything is over, she plans to stay here. She remembered this place and even gave it a name. Embroidered Jade Valley Thank you for the recommended vote from, bookfriend 202205091356372522. Thank you, thank you. End of this chapter.